everyone. What we've got here today is a car charging kit. We're hoping to use this in conjunction with the solar panels. So this is gonna be a live box opening. Uh, we've never opened one of these before, so we can see together what we're gonna find. I believe this is the hub. This is what connects to the internet, and this is basically what does all the thinking and everything through the app. So I'm gonna open the big box now, and we're gonna find out what we've got in that. So this, they always supply most of these, is a wall template, so you can use this to, to mount the, the unit on the wall and everything, so that's always really handy. This, again, is just a, a, a bracket that goes over the top of it once you've done all the mounting. This is the uh, CT clamp. This is what monitors what goes through the, the grid. So this is obviously very important. And this is the unit itself. Remember to always try and recycle the rubbish. Be friendly. And this is where we have the main bulk of the unit. So with this one, basically you take all the screws out and then underneath there could be fixing holes to mount all this on the wall. And obviously in the instructions here, it tells us obviously this one needs to be mounted at 1.2 to 1.4 meters high off the floor. So this is the unit here. We're thinking about mounting this down the side alleyway purely to give it nice and easy access for the cars. It currently comes with a length of cable, but obviously this one at the moment, we don't believe is gonna be long enough to reach the front. So on this particular job, we're gonna be doing some solar panels on the um, main roof, and we're gonna be doing five panels on the flat roof. We are gonna be doing the five on the flat roof as a bucket system and the 10 on the main roof are gonna be done in the conventional system on the handrails. We're also gonna be doing the car charging unit and relocating some of the fusible bits and pieces underneath the stairs, like the inverter and the battery system. Day one of the project, we've concentrated on maintaining the handrails and everything on the main roof, but due to the high winds and everything today, we didn't really want to take it too much further. Obviously the weather, weather conditions aren't great, but we've installed our brackets already. So we've come downstairs and we're looking into mounting the inverter and everything underneath the stairs, and obviously looking at locations for the charging unit and maybe getting all the cables and everything across to all the, the points and everything that we need to. Um, with the car charging unit, we're looking at running the cables underneath the fuse board, uh, underneath the floorboard, sorry, and basically up through the back of the house in a SWA armoured. This gives it a bit more protection, um, just again, to stop anything from getting damaged. So on this uh, particular system, it comes with a phone app that you download. And the reason we're using this, this type of charger is it's gonna work in conjunction with the solar panels, as we said earlier. And the way that it works is it senses what comes back through the grid from the solar panels, and it uses the surplus energy generated by the solar panels to feed back to the car charging unit, which is obviously saving you more money. Um, another thing is, everyone always asks me, why have I got two sets of screwdrivers in my tool bag? The reason is I don't like the apprentices using my screwdrivers, so I always keep a spare set of screwdrivers in my bag for the apprentice. So today we're installing our solar system under the stairs. This was the most convenient place for the client because they currently have a loft extension, so couldn't go up there. Caitlin's marking out uh, the bracket for the inverter. This gets hung on a solid wall because of the weight of it. Our battery is opposite the inverter. This is because the battery has to be plugged into the inverter for the for the power to charge the battery. Under the stairs, we have two 2.6 kilowatt batteries. And on the roof, we have 15 panels. There's 10 on the pitched roof, and there's five on the flat roof, which gives them a total power of 3.77 kilowatts. So here we are at this job now, it's all been completed. Um, obviously when using car chars and things like that, there's always a few things that you need to bear in mind. Number one, you obviously it's important to select the right charge points that you need for your car, so it's always good to sort of research ahead of time what types of ports and everything you need for your car. The other thing that we always like to say to customers is bear in mind that obviously if you've got off-road parking, on-road parking, things like that, they're all things that need to be taken into account. And obviously when mounting things like the car chargers and that, obviously Number one, we don't want to mount it in any locations where it's going to get bashed by the car reversing up to it or anything like that, so location is always key. Obviously in this situation we've got on this particular job, we've got no off-road parking, so the biggest thing we have to bear in mind on this particular job is getting access to the off-road parking. 
Now, again, in this job, what we've had to do is we've got a special lead that's on the market. There's lots of different types, but we've got an extra long lead that's up to 15 metres long in order to cater for parking off the road. And sometimes, again, you can't always park outside your house, so we have to cater that into, into, into account. But one thing we always say to the customers is if you've got no off-road parking, and the lead's got to travel across the curb. We like to use devices like this that house the cabling and makes it safer for pedestrians and people walking past. I had uh, PSC come in and install solar panels, an inverter and house batteries, uh, and also at the same time, car charger. Um, super pleased with the work, it's really tidy uh, installation. Um, and I had lots of questions during the project and they were so helpful in terms of answering any question that I had. The solar project is something I've been meaning to do for 10 years and I've done a huge amount of research off my own back. PSC helped fine tune what I, my suggestions uh, and were able to source everything that I required with good advice. The main reason I chose PSC is because they were which recommended. Uh, and I totally agree with the approval. It, they did an excellent job, and I do actually think they were a very fair price as well, which I didn't expect at the time. They were clean, tidy, super efficient. I'm very happy.